Hi Taurus, Mariah here going to do a reading for you. This reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest as this is not a personal reading. We are going to see what message Spirit has for you. Message and guidance. Please and thank you. For Taurus, I have the death card. You went through a symbolic death, some sort of renewal. This could have been um, you releasing something. Oof. You may have... Oof. For some of you, you may have let go of, why is this coming out? You may have let go of someone that was sneaky and trying to get away with something. Yeah. I, yeah. I always have a difficult time with Taurus readings. Eight of Wands. There might be some sort of communication coming in. Your reading's not gonna be that long. That's too many cards. Putting them back in. That was like four or five cards. Oh, okay. So you release someone or you let go of someone or even a mindset and there was some sort of change and I think that you guys have been focused on mastering a skill. For some of you, you may have been focused on working on yourselves. But whatever it is, you've been working hard at it. I feel like some of you have just been focused on money. Maybe to travel. I have the Nine of Wands. This is you guys persevering, being resilient. So you might have dealt with something that pushed you to your limit and kind of tested your patience. But you're feeling confident now. You've gone through some positive changes. You're being recognized. Mm. You closed out some cycles. Some of you might actually be traveling. I need to start speaking out when I hear stuff like this in my mind. <clears throat> some of you are traveling. Saving money to travel, focused on work to travel. Some of you want to travel outside of the U.S. With friends to celebrate. Some of you are wanting to travel. You're focused on money and traveling after a tower moment. That became your focus. For others of you, there may be some sort of tower moment coming. Just some sort of unexpected change, something, maybe issues with the car, pay your bills on time. 
I don't know why I just heard, I mean, what popped in my mind is like credit report is what I saw, like credit karma. Maybe an issue with someone at work for some of you, or there's gonna be somebody that's wanting to work with you. Look, there might be a gift. Oh, what is this? Ooh, your wish fulfillment. Nine of cups. This is you being recognized in for your achievements at work. Somebody's got their eye on you. Might be trying to communicate. We already had some sort of fast communication. There might be a, a decision. You might have you might be at a crossroads to have to make a difficult decision. You're definitely traveling. I feel like for some of you it might be a job opportunity where you can actually relocate. This has to do with your personal growth though, as well. Your luck is changing with the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Even though your luck is changing, there's still going to be some sort of disappointment for you. I feel like maybe there's some sort of expectation. There's going to be some jealousy. Oh, wow. Oh, there's going to be some jealousy in regards to your finances. Because you're in that Nine of Pentacles energy. And I have the Ten of Swords in reverse. You're healing. So you've moved on from something. But watch out because there's going to be... I just got lightheaded. There's going to be some jealousy in regards to your financial, financial situation. It might be jealousy because somebody sees you buy yourself a new car or you buy yourself some new clothes because you work so hard for what you have. And they're jealous of that. But they're not seeing all the effort. Put. Oh my goodness, look. I just split the deck. They're going to be jealous because you make a... you. This makes me think of a jealous friend. Because you make a love connection. And if you've always like been available for this friend, you're going to be less available. And they are going to have a problem with it. You're going to make a love connection, too. I was not expecting this. This is you and somebody being on the same page, having a, a mutual attraction and a nice connection. Wow. I just heard, I just heard best friends like you and this person even if you are meeting for the first time and you get together, you guys are going to spend so much time together that when you do start dating or whatever, you're going to be like, this is my best friend. So let's see what the Oracle cards have for you. I was not expecting your reading to be this long, but it turned out great. Maybe this person is at a distance. Maybe for some of you, if you take a job somewhere else, you end up meeting your person. But you get your wish fulfillment. And it could be somebody's jealous because they think you, you always get what you want. But they don't see the work. Oh my gosh, look. They don't see the work you put into what you have. Love. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. What else? I dropped a card and we have Phoenix. And owl. 
also, Al, there are spiritual messages and great wisdom to be found during this period of transfer transformation. So pay attention to your dreams. Listen to those intuitive messages. Watch out for synchronicities. Phoenix, be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. And one more. This lion. Oh, wow, we're going to take abundance too. Lion. Harness the loyal and protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnificently. And then we have abundance. Lucky times are ahead of you, along with good news, success, and prosperity. I think that's the perfect way to end your reading. I love you guys, Taurus. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And until next time, I love you guys. Bye.